contrary to what was previously reported, we're still here. Welcome back to Carpathian Countryside for episode 11 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are saved. The farm is saved. We were brought back from the brink by Saint Michael. And he is an absolute saint. I cannot give him enough of a shout out, enough of a thanks. To the point I've renamed the silo at the farm, the Saint Michael Silo. I'm not joking, I have. Um, a weird set of circumstances. If you watch my Edgewater Let's Play, um, I talked about it in that, but you might not, you might only watch this one. Um, I'm doing this potato harvest, and this potato harvest is what caused the problem, believe it or not. Um, a lot of people message to say it's probably a mod complex, which I thought straight away yeah, it could be a mod complex, it could be why I can't get back on. So I straight away thought, okay, what have I installed, what have I downloaded, what have I selected for the map since I was last on here? Um, what's changed since I was last on it? And I couldn't for the life of me. I, I went through and I thought I haven't installed a new mod, I haven't um, selected something new, I haven't done anything different. So I could not for the life of me work out what had gone wrong. Um, and then Michael messaged me and said, um, this was what happened to me when mine did it. And it was the perfect storm of things going wrong. And it was exactly, exactly the same set of circumstances that I had encountered. And it was something that at the time never crossed my mind. I didn't think for a second it would be the reason why. And it was this. I took on this potato harvest. It might not have been necessarily this field that he was on, but he said I got a potato harvest and it gave me a weird trailer I've never had before. And I must admit, when I took on this one, it was the same. Normally, you get a selection of standard in-game equipment and standard in-game trailers. Not always. Every now and again, you might get a mod thrown in, sometimes a mower or something a bit unusual that you, you, you don't normally have. It doesn't happen very often. Well, I had given to me the Adranti trailer, which I thought was weird. I don't, you don't normally, I can't remember the last time I was given one of those for a, for a contract. I drove it out, I had a JCB, drove it out, started doing this, saved the game because I think mods had dropped, so I needed to jump out, get on with the mods, um, couldn't get back in. So he said, take a harvest. I was given this really weird trailer. He said that the, the Adranti pack, and he said, as soon as I installed that, I got back on. Now, of all the mods it could have been, I never would have, it never dawned on me to think, hang on a minute, I got a weird trailer on it. Didn't think it was the contract that had caused it. He had exactly the same conditions. I uninstalled the mod. Now, I've used it a lot. And I don't have a problem with the mod. I have recently had an update. There's nothing wrong with the mod itself. There's nothing wrong with the mod pack. I love the Adranti stuff because there's an auto load bale trailer on as well. It's, it's fairly inexpensive to use. It works really, really well. Um, it's not the pack itself. It's just a conflict with something. Possibly the combination of a potato harvest with this bit of equipment and a piece of modded equipment. Whether it's particularly this map, I don't know. But that set of um, parameters is what caused it. So uninstalled it and we were straight back on. I had reached a point where I was seriously considering, and I, I'd spoken to Mr. Sidby and said that my only course of action now is to um, start a new save game and try and set everything back up as I remember it being. If it meant going on and watching my last episode, trying to remember where everything was, yes, it would have the same hours on it, but I could get all the equipment, I could get all the stuff. I could try as best as I could remember to put all the same crop types in the silo and all that, but it, it, you know, I've done it before. Sometimes when you get a new save game on a map is required if it has an update and you're so far down the rabbit hole on the map and you think, well, if I want to use the new features, if I want to use all the stuff that's on there, if a new save game is required, I'm going to have to do a new save game. And I've done that before. On some maps it's taken me a good 24 hours, if not longer, to set up a map exactly how it, I'd had it previously. So that's the point I was at when Michael messaged me. So, thank you. And thank you to everyone that messaged to say about mod conflicts and potential things it could be. A lot of people have suggested, um, as is often the case, um, had I thought about um, uninstalling the game, reinstalling it. I had considered that. Um, 
it's a great community. There's a lot of really lovely, helpful people out there. So thank you so much for all of that. But we're back. And I've got this potato harvest to do. And we're nearly full. There we go. We are now full. I'm going to back that down so we've got a bit of space. Because what I've got to do now... Turn that off. Is I've got to go up, grab the JCB, and I've now got to go back to the store and I need to lease a trailer. Because I don't have one now, because the trailer I had has been taken away. Um, I could use my set of trailers. Actually, I could do, couldn't I? Um, actually, you know, I might just be better off. Just I'll just lease. Mm, I don't know. What should I do? What should I do? We're down at Jenny's Old Stones. This is where the field is. I've also... Oh, there is. I've also taken on... Um, when we get to the store, I've taken on two cultivating contracts. I said about buying a cultivator. Literally, the end of the, well, during the last episode, I was saying about that. A couple of cultivating contracts popped up, so I thought, you know what? Now's as good a time as any. I'm going to buy that 11 grand one. I think, like I said, I've used it before. It's 11 grand, 9.2 or 9.4 metres. So I'll get to the store. I'll grab it. I'll grab a trailer. And um, we'll crack on. I'm trying to think. I want to get a larger trailer, something so I'm not going backwards and forwards. I mean, that's a fair size field. It's not massive, but we could be anywhere up to a million litres of potatoes we can get off that. Um, I did do a potato harvest, I meant to say in the last episode, in between. What episode is this? 11? So, in between 9 and 10, I did a potato harvest. So, I had a few, I don't know if you recall, I had done two previously, and I had. 120 odd thousand litres, about 69,000 and 67,000 litres off of two different contracts of potatoes left over. And I did another one which left me with about 40,000. So I should be sitting on about 100, and, I want to say 160, 170,000 litres of potatoes at the moment. And when this one came up, it's that, you know what I'm like, it came up and you see the numbers, it's like, oh, potato harvest contract, 28 grand, um, I'll do that. And then you start to think, Okay, it's going to take me a while, but again, that's what we're doing on here, you know, I'm still putting the work in, just slightly different, I'm buying all my stuff, I'm not making my own fertiliser, I'm not making my own seed, I'm not doing rock picking, I'm not making my own lime, we have been purchasing what we've needed, um, which is a little bit of a departure from what I've been doing on Edgewater, so a slight change there. Um, Got triggers on. Don't think I don't know. It might just be. I think it's at the uh, animal dealer. It's on all the time, isn't it? So swing that round. If I go into, I'll go and buy the tablet. Uh, if we go to, I'm pretty sure oh, that one there. Yeah, we've used it before. It's a Rostel mash, so it's all right. It will fit. 300 horsepower. Uh, my. My watch him call it the K700's got 290. Yeah, we'll be alright with that, won't we? I think I'll just leave it green. So I'm gonna buy that. And then lease a trailer and I need to get up. Like I say, I wanna get something a bit larger, it's just whether or not the JCB will pull it or not. Flegel? Forty thousand. I'd say my five trailers combines fifty five thousand litres. But I'm just thinking if I go for something like that. 52,000 litres. Will the JCB have enough oomph for that? I'm not sure. And leasing it might be a little bit... Oh, 4,000. That's not so bad. I'm thinking I'll get... I'm going to lose a little bit of money for leasing the equipment anyway. Oh, I don't know. Should I just use my own? At the end of the day, it's the same. 52,000 litres or 55,000 litres for my trailers... I'm going to do the same amount of runs backwards and forwards. I'm going to use my own. Save myself four grand. I might as well grab that and take that back to the farm. Grab my trailers. We'll get over to the field. What I might do, actually, while I'm getting on with that contract, if I can get a worker going on whichever fields I've got a contract on, which I can't remember. Uh, what fields are we cultivating on? Field 25 and field 1. Field 1 should be up here, right in the corner. Field 1, really? Why would I be... Yeah. 
That doesn't make any sense. Why am I cultivating field one? Oh no, not cultivating, fertilizing. <laughs> What's wrong with me? For those of you who look at the screen going, what is he talking about? Cultivating field 25, fertilizing field one. Um, <laughs> it's like, why do I cultivate a crop? That's insane. Oh, it's 26 grand. Why do I think it was 28? I don't know. Um, where's field 25? <laughs> Oh, it's been it's been a it's been a rough old a rough old trot getting here. Oh, that was the field I did the previous potato harvest on, field twenty five. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll swap over to the K seven hundred. I'll get that out to the field. Get that going. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show the entire potato harvest because it's. Gonna it's going to take some time. Um, I am looking at... Oh, I'm not going to go into details on that one again. That's right. Sorry. I was just say something out loud there, but it was one of those thoughts I think actually, you know, what should have left at me head. <laughs> like most of them, probably. Oh, I was watching... Who's was the day? Tom Pemberton. Watching Tom Pemberton. His lovely wife, Joanna, is pregnant. They're having a baby. Um, and he was with Ollie Bloggs, who does a lot of stuff with, who has his own channel as well. They're doing lands and to John O'Groats in a class election, without the header on. <laughs> it's a three or four man team, and they're doing it for charity, for Mind, the uh, mental health charity. Um, and there's some other bits and bobs they're doing it for as well, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. Um, you can track them as well online so if you wanted to find them on the route, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. So, I'll swap over. Um, the JCB now actually for, for, that came with the contract is kind of redundant because if I'm going to use my trailers I'm going to use my lorry I suppose well I suppose I could use their tractor couldn't I no I'll use my lorry let's hop out so I'm going to grab the K700 the only downside of using the K700 <laughs> I'm finding is the fuel economy we'll head down to fuel 25 and we'll get on with that And this is all kind of as well, that, that kind of part of me trying to um, be more in the moment, showing more of a job that I'm doing. I know I do tend to jump between locations quite a lot, because um, I, I often wonder whether people, you know, I suppose if I'm just chatting while we're going along, going between locations, I might, no, 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 might be there. Might get a bit boring, but this is kind of me doing what I'm doing. It's got the beacons on. I still love this tractor, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Field 25, let's open up the old sat mag down the bottom. It's field 25. Oh, Lovely. Well, I need to try and stay over a little bit. It does make it a bit easier. didn't notice that before on the dash to our left the flashing light for the beacons being on this mod is brilliant it's absolutely fantastic signs as we go and avoid stopping traffic because we are a little bit <gasps> literally as I said it um, apologies so field 25 is just after the bridge please don't let the car come until we get past it it's on the road course we can to K700. Oh, that would be... How, when did that happen? I thought I folded that back up. What happened then? That's why I hit traffic. I didn't even notice that behind me. Okay. Oh, never mind. 
It's all good now. <laughs> I've, just, I've just done that thing again. Why did I come up the middle? This has got two kind of islands in it. So I guess what I'll do, I've got the middle. If I go around the two islands, I can then set a worker off going either side. It's a funny shape, this one, as well. And the bottom part is pretty straight. Top part bends in. From the top, it angles down. Um, you can see the map to the bottom. So it's not the easiest to get going on. But we're farming. That's not too bad actually, I was just saying the downside to this is the lights aren't that great, but at night they are, just to worry a little bit dark there. So, guesses as to how much fuel will be left in this by the time we finish cultivating this field. Because <laughs> that's the other thing to factor in whilst using this. If you're using it for contract work, it's all well and good if you've got your own equipment, but if you're honking through a fair bit of fuel every time you use it, something to factor into the equation isn't it sometimes on those very rare occasions it does look like I know what I'm doing they are very rare I know but so what I'm going to do, I'll do a headland at either end, maybe a couple of headlands because there's quite a steep bank there and I don't want it going off the end. And at that end, and then I'll let a worker crack on with this. And then uh, I'm going to get back over onto that potato harvest. So I'll take my lorry over with my trailers, I need to unload that. What time is it now? 7.35. It's going to be another one of those longish, longish days, but you know what time it is. better going across the field than I'm up and down. That's for certain. So I'll turn around and do the other one back down. Come on. Oh, we've got a little bit of wheel set there. I love that. These dynamics on the thing. Never stop being amazed and, in, and awed by things. I know I say that a lot, but it's it's very true. I love it. I suppose because I'm still farming tractor nerd I just you know it's all these things you do and you just look every now and again and you stop and you think that's brilliant I love that like on my Edgewater one I've got the John Deere DB120 um, planter and I just I just sat watching it unfolding with a big grin on my face I just loved it Those childlike moments keep us grounded. I'm going to whiz back, so whiz back. I've got a bit of a walk now. Uh, go back and grab my lorry, get the trailer unloaded. Actually, where am I taking it to? I meant to check that as well. I could get another worker going on the fertilising as well, I guess. I have all three going at the same time. Why not? Harvesting. We are taking it to the supermarket, which I'm going to walk past on the way anyway. See you in a little while.
we are done. And as you've seen, the other two contracts complete, cultivating and fertilizing. I'm going past the supermarket because this is my eighth load. On the seventh load, I completed the contract. And it left me with about 17,000 litres in the trailers, but the harvester still had some in it. So I went back, emptied that, which just left us with 32,056 litres. I delivered 370,616 litres. I've been doing lots of workings out. <laughs> Not in my head, thankfully. Um, the other thing as well, as I was saying the last episode or this episode, whenever it was, when I was saying about um, the time frame, two day months, each day equaling half a month. Right, let's, let's start this again. <laughs> two day months. One day represents half the month. So if you take that one day, 24 hours, and divide that by 15, which is half a month, 15, if you go for a 30 day month, potentially. So 15 days, so you split that down, one hour 36 of one of my days equates to a day of the month. Does that make sense? <laughs> because I'm doing two day months, each day represents 15 days, so one of those days is represented by one hour 36 minutes of game time. It's a microcosm, like I say. That contract just took me, well I'd already started it, but 7.18 I think it was we started it, um, three hours and 33 minutes, so that equates to about two days, roughly. It would have taken me if I was running a 30-day month. So, yeah, it would have taken me a couple of days to do a potato harvest. So rather than, you know, like I said, people saying, that's ridiculous, it wouldn't have taken three hours. No, it wouldn't take three hours. It would take a couple of days, probably, to do a field that size, which is technically what it took. Um, now, the problem I've got is, if we go over to where our potatoes were, the other weird thing I had, because this was the, the, the contract that gave me the problems with the Adrianity trailer, um, which I then removed, um, again I saved the game, came out, I had some things I had to do, came back in, and the contract had completed, I mean I had finished the contract, I had all this stuff in the trailer, and I'm glad I did, because the contract had, for all intents and purposes, vanished, the harvester had gone, so I'm, I'm so glad um, I did it. And I think it worked out at 20... What was the contract plan? I thought it was 28 and it was actually 26. Took off the, what it cost to borrow the equipment. It brought it down to about 24. So that's why we're up to 412,000. So all my potatoes over here now... And like I said, I need a potato storage facility, I think, because we're getting a little bit... Um, hmm, unwieldy is probably the understatement of the century isn't it maybe that's the next thing I should do is I should put in some kind of uh, storage Next one. Last one. We'll get it all out. If I get um, if I borrow the telehandler from the store with a bucket, well, we might be able to do a bit of scooping. Or if I get um, a conveyor belt and get a storage. I said I said it a while back. I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, I was going to put a storage facility over here, wasn't I? So anyway, that's that done. I hope what I was saying was that was it clear? It wasn't clear when I first started explaining, was it? <laughs> Dear. I'm having an absolute mare. Looks like we've got rain coming. There's a couple of the contracts available, but I'm going to skip ahead now because we need to be skipping forward towards when our sugar beet harvest is ready. I still haven't decided what to do, whether to go with uh, multiple smaller ones with the vehicles we've got. I'm also looking at my options for harvesters, as I am doing on Edgewater as well. Um, 
I have got, these are only worth about 20 something grand now each, I think for them and the, and the header, we worked out 50 something grand. Actually, I haven't factored in the, the headers, but that each harvest is only worth about 20 something. I think one's worth about 24 grand. That was the third one I bought. I've still got one side over there. These are 5,100 litre with a five metre header. Now we do have available, um, it's not a massive jump up, but it is a, a step up, are these. I went with the Dominator on, initially on Edgewater, it was so loud. But this one's got a 6,500 litre capacity. These are 5.1. So I'm up in my capacity for each harvester. They're only 36 grand each, so if I get 20 grand back from each of the others, that only works out 16 grand a pop. One of them would be even less. The headers are 5.1 metres, whereas the one I've got at the moment for the Gigant are fives. So I'm increasing my header size by a fraction. But I'm just wondering to myself whether that's um, too small a step up. I'm increasing my capacity, but not by a huge amount. So if I got one harvester to replace those two and one harvester to replace the other two, I'm looking at needing at least 10,200 litres, if not more, but the price of them is so much higher than what these are worth. I mean, so much higher. Well, I, could, I could go for a minor increase, couldn't I? But again, I don't even know if that's um, viable at the moment, really. But anyway, I was going to show you over here. I, I said at the start, and I said in the um, so in the title as well. Look, bottom right, the Saint Michael Silo. Thank you, Michael. That will forever remain the Saint Michael Silo. So I don't know what to do now. Then I think that's probably it. I don't think I've got anything available for um, potato storage at the moment. Maybe I'll do that. I'll go and have a look. I'm going to go to the store. We'll have a chat and see if we've got something available. Maybe we'll end up by putting something in. I'll come over with the telly handle. It'll only be a smallish bucket. It'll take me a little bit of time. And we can start putting the potatoes away, probably. Or I could just... I'm just wondering whether... Or not, unless I'm going to actually um, use them for something, which I've been considering... There are plenty of options of things available that I can do with potatoes. Um, if I'm just going to sell them, I might just be better off getting an auger or a conveyor, load them all back into the trailer, take them over to Selena, uh, or take them over to the, the railroad station and send them off to Selena, because I think the best price at the moment is there. And if I have got... Well, we'll have now with another 30,000 in there, in the region of hundred and. 90,000 litres, I think. At 500 for a thousand litres, it's going to give me another 100 grand, isn't it? Which is at the moment just sitting there doing nothing and for, for all intents and purposes just rotting away. So, yeah, I think I'll do that. Bear with me a second. I'm going to make a decision. Do I go with forage storage or do I sell it all? That would help towards upping our harvester game, which I will double check. Where are we looking for? Got a baling and a half. Oh, look, more potatoes with the trail behind. For what that's paying, it's going to be a fairly small field, I would imagine. Um, yeah, I've got to decide. Got to decide. Okay, before you think, I've got a job at the local airport taking airplane steps up to the side of the aircraft. I haven't. This is a Krukoviac. What was it? Krukoviac, some guy. Um, it's designed to pick sugar beetle potatoes up off the floor so I thought well I could get a conveyor belt I've used other conveyor belts before and I saw this and thought I wonder if this will work I'm going to do best of both worlds I am going to put in a um, it's actually a tuba storage I think this one's called it's going to cost me 10 grand to put it in I'm going to take a hundred thousand litres to the um, railway and sell it and I'm going to put in the storage and I'm going to store the rest in case I decide to do pig food or I decide to do something else with potatoes. So rather than put all my eggs in one basket, sell a load, then realise, oh, I might have made a mistake. So what I should be able to do, I honestly don't know if this is going to work. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts. I can't believe I'm trying this. That should. Says. Hmm, I'm not sure if the trailer's going to be too good. 
I don't know if this can extend, can we? There we go, that hooks up like that. If I do that, it does that. <laughs> if this works, this is going to be a miracle. If I drive over the pile now. Come on. If that's supposed to pick them up from the ground, at what, at what point does that pick them up from the ground? Ah, oh, boo. Didn't pick anything up. So does it literally have to be in swath form? So when it says it picks up from the ground, it doesn't really. Hey, it's only stupid if it doesn't work. <laughs> I think we've established it doesn't work. Oh, that's annoying. I thought this was going to be one of those amazing things. You give it a go and it's brilliant. No, I suppose it's, they're supposed to be in squats. Oh, hang on. Do I lower that? Can I raise and lower that? <gasps> hang on. I might not have had it lowered. That might have been it. We could solve the problem. I may have just been an idiot, which isn't unusual either. Slow it down. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Got to overload. This action can't be performed here. So I won't come over now. Pipe out. There we go. Soldier. Same man if it doesn't work. It's kind of working. It's going to take me about a month to get it all in there. I actually went there for it. <laughs> oh, it could have been so good. I'm going to be a month of Sundays doing like this. Oh well, let's have a try. You never know. It's better to have a go than never know. I'm going to get a bucket or I'm going to get a proper conveyor belt. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in here, going to build mode and two silos. That sheds, silos. There we go. We've got one for sugar beet, one for potatoes. 10 grand, 500,000 litres capacity. If I put it... Yeah, I'm just thinking, but that'll go... I've got plenty of space up here. I can collect from the back of it. Or do I want it out a bit so I can drive around it if I want to? That might make more sense if I put it out a little bit. So, putting it in the front, taking it out of the back. It's not too out of place either, it's not massive, it's not garish, it should work, shouldn't it? Uh, so what I've got to do now... Um, I'm never sure... with um, belts, these systems here, whether they do potatoes, I can't remember now. They must do, mustn't they? This is one I kind of default to a lot of the time because that does pick up from the ground. I know it does. But I wanted to try something different, but I don't want to lease something and find out it won't. How much is that to lease? 943? Oh, I'll give it a go. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Might as well try it. Right, I'm going to go and grab that. I'm going to take this back. That only cost me that cost me 288 to lease, so it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Just feel a little bit stupid. I'm oh, sorry. Right then. Come on, right then. There we go.
Well, as you saw, the conveyor belt worked perfectly. No problem at all. Um, what I've done, I instead of just bringing 100,000 litres, I did two full wagon trains full. So, 55,500, yeah. So, I've got 111,000 litres on the train in the third carriage back. We'll take that and we'll sell it. And the rest of it, I'm going to use the conveyor, get it up off the ground, and I will put it into the new tuba silo. We'll see what we make from this. This should be about 50 grand, I think. So we'll cover the cost of the tuba silo, and we'll have a little bit extra put in. And then I've got... Actually, I won't know, actually, until I've picked it all up off the floor and put it all into silo, just how much we've got left on the ground. It should be about... What did I say? 70,000, 80,000 litres left? Maybe. I might have overestimated that. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. We're all good. We're back. We're back. I was going to say we're back on track. Pardon the pun. We are back on track. Here on Carpathian Countryside. Let's do this. Yes, please. Oh, take that. 56 grand. 56 grand, 1,206 environmental score reward. Money's up. And that's where we're going to end this episode. Potato harvest is done. I will be skipping ahead towards um, the sugar beet harvest on our field. Um, if something pops up, something a bit different. There are some corn fields. I haven't done any corn harvesting yet. And I still need to decide what I'm going to do about this harvester situation. I, I have been having a look and... Yeah, it's, it's a big jump up from either small capacities and fairly cheap harvesters to way more expensive. And I'm just trying to I don't know, reconcile it with the bank account, I think. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.